flying at the other end. Larry Johnson is one of them. Here we go. Oakley and Morning have at each other. And both of those guys will not play in game five. I guarantee you that. Van Gundy out. I don't know if it was Oakley. I, I couldn't see. Knicks Heat 98. When our guy Jeff JVG gets in there, grab and, and and I loved it because it was morning and LJ. It was the two former Hornets. It's like the dying seconds of the game, yeah. and and LJ's not taking his crap anymore. Yeah. And there's our guy in the Jeff Van Gundy of, in the mix, in, in, man. In the mix. In the mix. Neither the guy connecting. Seed. Neither guy connecting. It's Van Gundy. Neither guy connecting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look. You know, none of these fights had good technique. Let's be honest. Like, if you want to see bad fights, you go watch an NBA fight. Yeah, yeah. Most and and if you ever want to see, like, it's amazing to me when you watch NBA players hit the bag, how you know uncoordinated they are. It's yeah. like they're so talented, they're so athletic, and then you see them put on boxing gloves, and it's like, what? How are you so stiff? It's amazing. And then conversely, you ever see an MMA fighter try to play basketball, and it's, it's you know, worse. it's comical as well. <laughs> but that one to me was just you know so memorable. Plus. You know, it also brings back good memories. 98 was a great um, run for us because we were the seventh seed. Mm -hmm. No one thought that we'd be able to beat the Heat, mm -hmm. the two seed, and then, of course, 99, eight seed. They're the, yeah. the one seed. But I just love why we will always defend Jeff is because, you know, that right there, right? He, yeah. he was a true New Yorker. He got in the mix. He defended his guys till yeah. the death. He loved fought it. for them on the court, off the court, everything, man. That was my coach. Even when, you know, we made the tip at Ohio, I said, let's talk to Jeff. You know, Jeff was my first choice. Not gonna lie, Jeff was my first choice. I don't blame him. it's for that reason, man. It's for that, a lot of people say, oh, well, he left him high and dry, you know, when he when he just walked away. I said, look, look man, he was losing all his hair. Look at all the stress. Right. He couldn't he couldn't deal with it. I know? used to love those post-game scrums where he's drinking the, the Diet Coke, yeah. and he's got the massive <laughs> bags under his eyes, and you could just see the hair disappearing. <laughs> But he one was by just, ah, oh, he's yeah. such, I went into like a, uh, like this rabbit hole recently where I was trying to find the press conference or the scrum when, when he resigned, uh, couldn't find it, but then stumbled upon the day he was hired against mm, Philly. Mm -hmm. Remember the, the, yeah. the first yeah, game where they got right blown in. out yeah, yeah. and then they, they ended up beating the 72 and 10 bulls on mm -hmm. the Sunday afternoon, um, on NBC. And it's just, it's just amazing to like go back and watch some of those clips of young yeah. Jeff and MSG with Johnny Hoops and Marv Albert yeah, and yeah. all this stuff, man. Ah, the memories that it gives me, like very few things make me happier than trying to relive those times. Sure.